guys, we're gonna learn how to create formulas and basically put this spreadsheet to work for us. So I have some data here, some velocities that we took of each cart. I'm gonna get the average velocity first. Well, there's built-in functions for that. Every time I want a spreadsheet to do something for me, I start with an equal sign. That tells it the cell that, hey, this is gonna be a formula. I'm not just writing in anything random. Um, so if I wanted to take an average, I literally write average and we'll notice it'll bring up some suggestions for oh what kind of average do you want so we want a regular numerical average and then we're going to start with an open parenthesis and then we're going to select the cells that we want to take an average of and it actually gives you a quick preview of what that average is going to be let's close the parenthesis click enter voila there's our average now we want to do that to this column too. Here's a cool part. You don't have to retype that again. This little box down here basically lets you fill down or fill over the same formula for different places. So if I fill that over to the right, it's going to do the same thing for this column. All right, I don't have to retype it at all. So if you had a bunch of sets of data, it's nice to make one formula and fill it over for all of those. Okay, so that was the average velocity. Now if I want to find the momentum, uh, first, I'm going to keep track and communicate, again, how I'm doing this. Momentum equals mass times velocity. So and I'm going to do that over here by starting, again, with an equal sign. Momentum equals the mass, which I put up here, cart 1. And let's say I actually didn't have the number in here. Let's say I had 0.505 kilograms. I'm going to show, the, show you what this does to begin with this. And then 0.51 kilograms. Let's say I had the units in there. So momentum equals the mass, 0.505 kilograms, times, I'm going to use a little asterisk for the times, uh, the average velocity, enter, and it gets upset with me. All right, so it doesn't like that. It tells me the function multiply, parameter 1, it expects number values, but 0.505 kilogram is a text, cannot be coerced into a number. So it basically freaks out about the whole two letters there, kilograms. What we can do is go back in here, all right, let's take the kilograms out of that, and we don't have to retype our uh, formula because it says, oh, okay, that's a number, I get it, that's cool now. So now that's our momentum here. And again, same thing over here, I can fill this over, and I have the same problem over here, so let's take out the kilograms, and I put it over here in the mass, I'll be okay, and now that number's happy. All right, so formulas start with an equal sign, click the cell you want, and add the uh, plus minus times for the asterisk, uh, divide the little slash symbol, whatever you need to do. Now, once you do that for one set of data, you don't have to retype that every single time you do it, every single set of data. You could copy this whole uh, set of stuff over here, copy, paste it next to the other set of data in the same relationship, like in the same place, and it'll do that for this set of data. So here we have a different average, but it is calculating it for the right row, and we have a different momentum, but it is using this cart mass and uh, this cart, this average velocity. And you could do that for every collision you do. So once you set up the calculations once, you can reuse them as many times as you need, as long as you paste them in the right place. All right, so put this formula, put this spreadsheet to work for you.